Today I'm showing you guys Flowance Client. To get it, head over to my Discord server where you will find the download in the Flowance channel under the Bedrock section. By the way, look at all these clients in my Discord server, it's definitely not a bad place to be. So I'd greatly appreciate it if you could join. Anyways, what is Flowance and why am I showing it now? Well, Flowance was a private client and I've had it for like a really long time. But this guy begged me not to leak it, so I didn't. Um, but like now I've seen it leaked in a couple of places. I think uh, SM King also leaked it, like, or, or something. Oh well, whatever. Anyways, it's uh, if you really want it, you can find it anywhere now. So I'm just going to be <laughs> showing you guys as well at this point. It does work for 1.21.2, so not the latest version of Minecraft. To launch older versions of Minecraft, like I just did, I will link a tutorial for that in the description below. Anyways, for the rest, let's check out this client, right? So I've got Fate Client Injector over here. Best Client Injector, link in the description. Um, and basically, because this is a DLL file, we do need an injector for you to be able to inject this. So we can just inject that right over there. And bam, it's been injected right now. Uh, as you can see, Fluence has been enabled. So that's pretty cool. I'll just head into a Minecraft world and show you what this is all about. I just loaded into the world and I was sitting in a boat like this. So um, I guess this is how it's going to be for this video. Uh, all right. So as you can see, Fluence client has been injected. Um, we can click on the insert button. And now this click GUI together with the fact that, well, one not the, the, the fact that it's version 1.21.2 might ring a little bit of a bell related to, you know, just this little bit of an obscure client called Apollo. Um, I'm, I'm like, not uh, even trolling, it's a skid. No, it's not. You didn't hear that. Uh, so basically, here it is, as you can see, it's definitely a pretty good client. Um, I recommend turning server rotations off. Anyone who has watched one of my videos before on an Apollo client skit knows exactly why it's very important that we turn this off. Um, I got I got cancelled like five times. Anyways, for the rest, here's the client. I'm pretty sure I didn't even mention. You need to press on the insert button on your keyboard and that's going to open up this area. You can click on these utilities to turn them on. Click on them once again to turn them off. And it's basically as simple as that. Sadly, there's no descriptions when you hover over these, but let's be fair. It's pretty easy to use this. I'm quite sure that the IRC does not work, but I mean, who really uses that anyways, right? I mean, Discord exists, doesn't it? Oh well. Uh, for the rest, I would like to mention that this is obviously not just a blatant rename. Whoa. <laughs> okay, um, this is actually kind of fun to be honest. I should do more videos like this, man. Um, yeah, so not a blatant rename. And it's actually a pretty decent client, um, although, to be honest, there aren't a lot of, like, public configs and stuff available because, I mean, it was private, but oh well. Also, I was just thinking about this, and I'm pretty sure the only reason the guy who leaked it got it was because I sent it to someone who sent it to him and he leaked it, but, I mean, okay, that's fine. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, for right now, I guess that was basically that. W Client, check it out, it's uh, pretty neat. But uh, yeah, for right now, thank you ever so much for watching, and I do of course hope to uh, see you again in the... I couldn't sne sneak. Okay, see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.